Welcome back. Good morning Kenya continues. Now we are tackling entrepreneurship on Entrepreneurship Tuesday. My name is Mike Migwe and today we are going to talk about a topic that is dear to especially to small business owners, business leaders, people who want to explore the opportunities on the job market and in the business world. We are going to talk about personal branding for entrepreneurs and business leaders. And to help me with this conversation in studio, I'm joined by Mengo Sherastin, who is a personal positioning and branding consultant and an expert in branding, positioning, communication, marketing, and digital marketing. Karibu sana bwana Mengo. Welcome to Good Morning Kenya. Thank you so much. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing very well. Yes. I'm glad to be here. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Maybe the first question, just to familiarize yourself with the audience. Yes. What inspired you to get into personal branding and position? Yes. Uh, I First of all, it's very interesting that my background is actually, you would expect my background to be in PR, communications, yes. and so on. But yes. what I really studied in school was engineering. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the time, I was seeking to be an uh, aircraft engineer. Yes. I by then we were only we only had a diploma being offered at the time. Yes. So I I did it. I we it was only diploma I finished, and then of course the job market was. Nilo, is that you hear? Reality versus expectation. Yes. You expect the market to be big and welcoming and uh, all this, but that was not the case. So I as a backup because I knew I had uh, skill I was good with people yes. I believed that and then I said what kind of career can I pursue that is still accommodative of who I am as a person so I went into roles in marketing and sales and as I have been working all through I realized that I was busy fronting products but what people were really buying was me mm -hmm. it was not the product mostly and people didn't really worry so much how good the product was yes. if I was not good enough for them. Exactly. So then I asked myself what, what, what could this be? Then I landed, a, a book landed in my hands called uh, The Brand Called You. Mm -hmm. And I, I took so much interest and I read and from then on I started working on my own personal brand. Nice. I started working on myself. I started being the product instead of fronting the product. And I started to see success. Afterwards I decided then how many other people are having the same problem as me? So let me be that person who solves that problem for them. Nice. And that is how I came to share that which had worked for me. Nice. Yes. Now briefly share what personal uh, branding is and mm -hmm. how it helps in it helped a person in staying ahead of competition in a very competitive market now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the way you have asked that question. Yes. Because it's it's about get you getting ahead. That's the whole point. People think personal branding is fake it till you make it. They think personal branding is looking good, wearing suits, uh, being a celebrity. Yes. And that's not true. Yeah. Personal branding is simply, first of all, finding out who you are. Yeah. Finding out how you fit in the market. Yes. And then deciding to be visible enough mm -hmm. that the market gets to know you yes. and what you're good at. Yes. And then you provide value to the market. Yes. That's what really personal branding is. Yes. Packaging yourself properly for yes. what you do yes. and then putting yourself out there for the world to see. Which now brings us to authenticity. <laughs> you want to, to, to project a very competent personal brand. Yes. But now, what is the role of authenticity in developing and maintaining a strong personal brand? Uh, very, very good questions, my friend. I'm so happy to be here. Yes. So, authenticity is, is the whole bedrock of a strong personal brand. Yes. Because without authenticity, it will crumble at some point. Yeah. We have seen stories. So, in fact, for me, it's sad that at some point I saw stories of a personal branding consultant that was not authentic. That's ah. how bad it can get. Yes. So, the, the, the role of authenticity is that you want to put out there your real self. Mm -hmm. I understand there is one thing also called aspiration, which I really, really encourage even my clients to do. Mm -hmm. That find that person in your line of work yes. that is doing very well mm -hmm. and start to emulate them because I believe success leaves clues. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, don't forget to be yourself. Mm -hmm. And 
people authenticity is lost because people don't start with introspect okay you just look around and say i see barbers are doing very well yes. i just want to be a barber yeah. there's money in this thing yes. and i can learn it and do it yes. but you forget that maybe you are uh, sensitive to people's hair you shave people's hair and you start having even <laughs> funny the chemicals things in your that hands. you use you're not even sure the chemicals will work for your skin yes and you in fact was you're not patient because there are those clients who will say this one you have not done it yes, yes. so you have to find those personal attributes uh -huh. that support you in your personal branding journey uh -huh. otherwise you will lose authenticity on the way yes. so the question of authenticity is solved by introspect at the very beginning of when you want to build your personal brand mm -hmm. yes now let's talk about personal brand and corporate brand there are many people who don't know the distinction maybe you can create important uh, yes because i it's good that i share this story yes. last weekend i went to uh there was a gathering mm -hmm. and then i went there I, to display my my business you know the way you would exhibit mm -hmm. and i saw my banner is written personal branding yes and when people come they expect that i'm printing t-shirts yes and uh, flyers oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> so there is that assumption that anytime you see branding it's yes, t-shirts t-shirts and hoodies, banners and uh, brochures cups. and this and the cups no it's personal branding and it's a whole different thing yes. now to your question corporate brand personal brand and product brand yeah these are different things yes a corporate brand and even there are people who try to sell their personal brand as a corporate brand mm -hmm. it will never work mm -hmm. Corporate brand, first of all, for your information, mm -hmm. the public is starting to resent corporate brands because they, they, there is the feeling that all they want is my money, all they want is to sell me something. Mm -hmm. But when you're talking to a person, mm -hmm. that may, you, you start having the feeling of the realness of the business or the realness of the transaction. Mm -hmm. And there is this feeling that when you're, to, you're dealing with a corporate brand, you, you, they, there is that feeling of superficialness, you know, that this is not really a human yeah. being who has needs like me. Yes. So personal branding comes to bring that human feeling. Personal branding actually humanizes corporate brands. Uh -huh. I'll give you an example of what Safaricom is doing now. Yes. I saw recently the, the CEO of Safaricom, Mr. Ndegwa, did an interview with the one TV station mm -hmm. and they, they went up close and personal who are you where do you come from how was your journey I thought they'll stop there I saw another clip they went with him to his former primary school Wow why would they do that that is not is not selling it's not an advert mm -hmm. but what they are doing they are saying these people that work with us are people like you yes so picture the person who has gone to that primary school they easily connect with safaricom now yes because they say the people who work there are people just like me they feel inspired easily because if he got there i can get there too. yes so your personal brand also should do the work of doing what inspiring, inspiring. as you're saying especially for leaders and business leaders uh -huh. seek to inspire yes so that's i think briefly that's how i'd like to differentiate the two yeah now you are also an expert in digital marketing. Mm. Now business leaders, how can business leaders and entrepreneurs capitalize on the digital space? Because we are living in an information age and social media, everything is happening on social media. Mm. How can entrepreneurs and business leaders capitalize on this uh, chance to enhance their personal branding? Let me yes, and it's good that you want us to give you the lens of personal branding. Yes. Because business leaders have delegated i think it, they have dele delegation is a good thing mm -hmm. they have delegated this to this uh, duties or or digital marketing mm -hmm. to their teams yes. and they have departments for that and it's a good thing yes but remember one thing you are simply selling the business and forgetting to sell yourself uh -huh. as the leader founder entrepreneur ceo of this business because now when you are out there mm -hmm. you inspire trust automatically you bring credibility with your experience with your with your vision and then people now want to connect with your business but they'll not connect with your business directly they connect with your business through you so social media why why social media because right now i know when this program closes me and you the first thing we will look at after saying goodbye is our phones yes so you want to be where people are yes okay yeah 
and uh, right now the world has changed yes even newspapers now we have e-paper mm -hmm. books we have e-books e I don't know when we we are now starting to have e people yeah. in t in form of bots. Bots, yes. Yes. So that's where the world is heading. And yeah. the fact, if if you're not headed there, then you're losing it. Let me give you an example, uh -huh. but I'll give you a political example. Please do. Ronald Reagan. Yes. He won the presidency in the U.S. in the era of television. Yes. He just maximized when television was becoming big. Yes. He just maximized on television. He got it. Obama maximized Facebook. Yes. Trump maximized Twitter. Yes. Now the next one, we don't know what he will use. Yes. Uh, I think it will be Trump, but <laughs> uh, I don't know. He's he was he's back on Twitter, yes. but he isn't using it as much. Yes. But still, what I'm saying is that get the media of the day that is working and harness it. But business leaders are not doing that. They think this is for young people. Mm. This is for people who are not busy. Yes. But they are losing big time. How does Elon Musk find time for Twitter? Yeah, yeah, Do you ever yeah. ask yourself, yeah. if we are so busy, yes. the richest man on earth has time for Twitter. So you're not busy. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Yes. You just don't have a strategy. Yeah. So get that social media team, talk to them and have a discussion on how they are, they are going to bring your personal brand out front. Yes. And then now get the world to know what you do yeah yes let's talk about longevity mm. because, or, or, uh, in terms of uh, personal in, in the context of personal brand yeah what does what contributes to a lasting brand identity and what steps can uh, create the same uh, a lasting uh, personal brand mm. I, I, the questions are very good i'm so happy <laughs> so it's uh the longevity is is dependent on strategy yes because a personal brand that is not built on strategy, mm -hmm. how do you know when you're wrong and when you're right? Let me give you again an example. Mm -hmm. Look at what we call today influencers as we know them. Yes. For most of them, you will see they will rise and then there's a level they reach and they plateau. Yeah. Why? Because today they are selling shoes. The next day they are selling uh, uh, hair products. The yes. next day they are selling uh, cosmetics. cosmetics. The other day they are selling garbage collection services. Yes. The other day they are yeah. selling phones. The other day it's laptops. Shoes. So what, what, what are they really about? So one important uh, component of that longevity is focus. Mm -hmm. You must have that focus of what your personal brand really addresses. Yes. That focus is very important because now people know you for something. Finding uh, focus, is yes. it the same as finding purpose? Finding purpose is much deeper mm -hmm. because that's, I don't want to call it spiritual, but it's, yes. it's at a deeper level. Yes. Because I expect by the time you are focusing on something, you already have found purpose. Yes. And personal branding is much deeper than simply having a title. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's, in fact, leaders... I, I, I talk to leaders and I tell them personal branding is a leadership requirement because it's all about your vision, your values, your attributes. So when you have found your purpose, mm -hmm. then you choose what your purpose means in terms of what problems is your what problem is your purpose solving, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what value is your purpose adding, mm -hmm. and then you focus there. Because right now myself, I've been tempted so many times to work with corporate brands, and you get tempted, but I know that with time it will water down my brand mm -hmm. again. Yes. So that focus, when people know you for a certain thing. Yes. So today, if you have uh, maybe you have an issue with your bones, mm -hmm. do you want to go to a general practitioner or to a bones spe bones and joints specialist? That I would prefer a bone specialist. And in fact, you will not even care how much they charge. You yes. just know that they are the experts. They know my problem. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing even with businesses. Yes. That when people know you for a certain thing, you become the expert in that thing, you become the go-to person for that thing. Mm -hmm. And that is how we should build our brands. Mm -hmm. That focus and staying in that focus, because the more you stay in a niche, especially say maybe I am providing cleaning services, but I'm only providing them to hospitals. Now, every hospital will know me because they will say, I don't want to bring someone who has just come from cleaning a living room. Yes. I want someone who has just been cleaning a lab. Yes. 
so they understand how a lab looks like. Yes. And therefore now I get to work with more clinics, I yes. get to work with more hospitals, mm -hmm. and I have more experience serving them. Mm -hmm. Therefore I have more value to give them mm -hmm. because I have so much knowledge in that area. Mm -hmm. And that's the importance of, of focus. Yes. Yeah. Now, personal branding is crucial in creating trustworthy relationships mm -hmm. in the workplace, in the business world, mm -hmm. even in personal businesses. Yes. Now, uh, in line with that, what are your views on the future trends and challenges in personal branding? And so, how should entrepreneurs and businesses leaders prepare for them? Yes. So, first of all, this is a fact. The future of branding is personal. And evidence is showing that every day. Yes. Uh, research is showing that every day. Yeah. I was seeing some statistics, although I, I don't know what's wrong with us Africans and research. We don't like to do research. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I, most of these statistics are coming from the U.S. Mm -hmm. I see that most consumers prefer buying from businesses whose owners are on social media. Yeah. Most consumers, they'd rather buy from someone who they see is active on social media. There is now being in social media and then being active on social media. Two so this is things. how important it is for business leaders to be on social media. Mm -hmm. So that when you're on social media and engaging actively, you are establishing that trust. Yes. Someone w I would be more comfortable tweeting under the CEO of Safaricom's handle, mm. I will, for some reason I'll convince myself that I've spoken to him yes. than when I talk to customer care. I'll assume I'm talking to a bot. Yes. So these are important uh, components of how a person should look at personal branding. Now, mm -hmm. the, future, the future is bright, mm -hmm. but the future is, is filled with fake it till you make it. That's yeah. what people That's think. That's the notion out there. So there is a problem of perception of what personal branding is and then there is a there is a let me call it a knowledge gap mm -hmm. in terms of us as professionals us mm -hmm. in the, the personal branding pr communications we have not taken enough time to educate the public on personal branding yes. so that i see as a challenge yes now again there is limited information even yes. online yes H how fast do articles on personal branding come out you know but yes. how fast do articles on general entrepreneurship come out yes you see so we there is that knowledge gap and then there is the issue of cost also mm -hmm. it's not cheap to build a personal brand yeah. and uh, it's not cheap in not when i say it's not cheap i'm not only talking about money yeah. i'm also talking about energy i'm talking about time yes and there the, i know the reason i in fact another reason i came into personal branding is that I saw there are so many coaches teaching yeah. personal branding. Mm -hmm. But to get that person who will walk with you mm -hmm. step by step on how you build your personal brand, mm -hmm. there aren't many. Yeah. And that's what I chose to do. I chose to be the person who doesn't just teach, yes. but walks with people step by step. And we lack that in the market. There aren't many people who do that step by step walking with you to get your personal brand to where it's supposed to be. No, still on personal brand. Eh? Mm. Deciding to create a personal brand is like you are investing in, not like it's you are investing in yourself. Yes. How do you quantify? How do you quantify the return on investment on when it comes to matters personal branding? Interesting question. Now, I I had another person saying, how do you measure personal development? Yes. It is difficult to measure, and it's because it's a long game. It's not a short game, mm -hmm. which you can do the ROI calculation. Mm -hmm. It's a long game. But now this long game, this is how myself I measure it. I measure it in terms of how much exposure is your business getting as mm -hmm. a result of your personal brand being mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. That is one thing you can measure. Mm -hmm. Easily you can measure the sales from the time you started and the time to, the, to maybe a certain period of time. Yes. Another thing you can measure is uh, inquiries. Are there inquiries coming through as a result of you being out there? Mm -hmm. Again, another way to measure it is leads. Yes. Especially now, this is why digital marketing is, 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 is very interesting to me. Mm -hmm. How can you measure the, the output of a billboard? Interesting. But social media, there is all the analytics, impressions, engagements, leads, 
and everything. Mm -hmm. So that's why I encourage people, even if they are building your brand offline, mm -hmm. building it online gives you the measurables. Yes. You will say that since I started this uh, Facebook page mm -hmm. with, with my my name with it with my name on it, mm -hmm. so far I have seen. I used to have a hundred likes when I started. Mm -hmm. Now I have a hundred thousand likes. Mm -hmm. I used to get fifty leads when I started. Now I'm getting three hundred leads. Mm -hmm. So online is much easily measurable now yes. and b b digital media is a blessing in so a very it, big it, way. it all boils down to your presence and active uh, 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 and how active you are on social media yes, yes. so people uh, entrepreneurs and uh, business leaders must give uh, 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 a focus on uh, social media uh, media and digital it's spaces. very important because really you're not selling to even if you were selling to cows, you would have to be in the field where they are grazing. <laughs> yes. Okay? Yeah. So, the people you're selling to are online. They are on these social platforms. Now, again, social platforms, not all of them will work for your business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So, it's important, again, to sit down with a, 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 a professional yeah. to help you navigate and know mm -hmm. where is it that I get the most. Yes. <laughs> Myself, for example. Mm -hmm. I don't get much from link from uh, Facebook and Instagram. Yes, but I get a lot from LinkedIn. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. So different people. There are people who don't even know how LinkedIn looks like, but wow. they get a lot of value from Instagram. Yes. So you after you are, you, it's good again to be cross platform when mm -hmm. you're starting, mm -hmm. and then measure yes. and see which platforms are working well for me. Mm -hmm. There are people who are not even on social media, but SEO alone mm -hmm. for their blogs does enough for them so you have to do that analysis and find out which platform gives me the most results mm -hmm. and you know the pareto 80 20 rule mm -hmm. spend the most energy where you're getting the most results for yes. yeah so but presence visibility is key and for most business leaders and entrepreneurs i'll tell you mm -hmm. their problem is not product their problem is not systems it is not processes it is just visibility Nice. True. Now, let's talk about still on social media. Mm -hmm. Almost everything is happening there. Yes. Uh, and now, how does content creation help in enhancing uh, consistency in personal branding mm -hmm. across various platforms? Very important question again, because the, the, the one consideration or the one uh, issue you would have there is there's a lot of noise. Yeah. Everyone now calls themselves a content creator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can, today, anything you do, you can choose to make content with it. But this is my perspective of content. It's not just simply waking up and switching on your video. Content must have a strategy. There is what's called a content strategy. You must start from a content mm -hmm. strategy. This content strategy is driven from your brand strategy. Yes. Your personal brand strategy is what will give birth to your content strategy. Yes. Because now here we know who your audience is, mm -hmm. uh, what content they, they want, and mm -hmm. what content you have to provide. Yes. Now if you have content for people between the ages of maybe 18 to 25, mm -hmm. mostly you would do very well on Instagram. Yes. Now on Instagram, there is certain kinds of content that work there. Yes. On Instagram, you can't put written content. Yes. And this written content is not going to work on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So content creation has a lot to do with strategy than the actual content that people do. Yes. A lot of it has to do with strategy. So you must know your audience, what they want to consume, what you have to give them, and then consistency. Uh, it's, I think it's uh, this 16th century poet and, uh, and, uh, and writer, Shakespeare. Yes. He says... Consistency, thou art a jewel. He said that because consistency is easily said than done. Yes. So your content strategy should determine your consistency. Are you going to be posting every day? Yes. Are you going to be posting thrice a week? Are you going to be posting once a month? Yes. Then once you have created that strategy, yes. now respect your content strategy and do what you're supposed to do. As we are coming to the close of the show, yeah. what is your advice to aspiring entrepreneurs and business leaders? Quickly, as we are winding up. 
in one line i would say come out front yes. stop hiding behind your corporate brand yes come out front yes let people know you yes. let people know what you stand for let them know your values and yes. your attributes yes and when they connect with you yes you will see your business change Ah, thank you so much for gracing our studios. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we you. have been talking to Mengo Sherastin, a personal positioning and branding consultant, expert in branding, positioning, communication, marketing, and digital marketing. This has been uh, a very interesting talk. There's still much to talk about, but we'll take, uh, we'll end this conversation here for now. I have been your host, Mike Megwe. We now head over to the other side, and as a, a, as a Good Morning Kenya, seg uh, the next segment continues on Good Morning Kenya. Good morning.